at the very end of my 50 state tour last year, I just finished my last show on the mainland before the very last show in Hawaii. And I was, the last show was in Colorado and I was driving back across the country and I played the show. It was a beautiful day. I was wearing a sundress. It was like 75 degrees. And then that night, it just dumped snow, became a total blizzard. It was a hundred year storm. You know, it hadn't stormed that much that early in the year in a hundred years. And I got snowed in. It was, it was actually a really lovely <laughs> excuse to just chill out. I ended up starting to write this song during that time. And one of the lines is the storm that's rolling off my shoe. And that was inspired by when I was sitting at a coffee shop watching the snow melt and drip off of everyone's shoes, including my own. So there were little, little puddles on the ground at everyone's feet. But it also, of course, is metaphorical, as most of the lines are. A lot of the lyrics have this juxtaposition of, you're my quiet in a crowded room, you're the eye of the hurricane, the flower on the interstate, places of peace and solace that's surrounded by some turmoil and and can even be caused by the thing itself or your own thoughts and desires and passion and yearning for it. That's basically what the song is about. Wanting to get back to that place, that person, that thing, that feeling. The bridge was actually inspired by when I was with some friends and we were trying to see the Neowise Comet this summer. We went out and we tried to find it for a few nights in a row, then we went out into the mountains to get away from the light pollution in LA, and it was still so faint. But we all were like, I think I see it. I feel like I see it. We made wishes anyway on the g giant <laughs> shooting star, because how you feel and how you think often matter a lot more than the actual achievement and I know from experience how we can break our own hearts and tell ourselves stories, so we gotta tell ourselves the good parts. There are two lines that have juxtapositions within them as well as with each other. An easy shot that ricocheted, representing something that should have been so easy and you took a shot at it and it ended up in hurting you by your own fault or just fate or whatever it was. And then the other line is a blindfold shot with perfect aim, which is about how sometimes you can not even be trying or just taking a shot in the dark, taking a risk, and it ends up turning out right. And all of those ups and downs are inescapably part of life and love, and we just need to try to find that quiet within ourselves, that peace, that confidence, and find the beauty among the chaos.